I welcome you again. Uh, I was told you are there. I can't see you. Uh, well, what the world has gone to, how to, how to assess that. But we're still still here for the 15th time. We're meeting uh, together in a very strange formula this year. This is actually me. It's not any uh, double body. Uh, uh, it's a picture from last year. We can't take a, a joint photograph this year, but we can try. 15 years... Ago, it, we started with a group of a small flock of people uh, from Switzerland, Germany, uh, at the Hell Peninsula in the north of Poland. And every year we had more and more participants. Every year we had more of you with us. There were new groups emerging, new interests, new ideas, new uh, new lecturers. Over the last six years, um, uh, we did it in uh, Przegorzały in Krakow. Thank you, Krakow, for that. We had uh, 350 up to 400 people joining us there. This is a beautiful anniversary and uh, 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 Natalie Portman remembered about this anniversary. She joined us before and she, she's, she's sending you a message for the 15th anniversary. anniversary. Natalie, thank you that you are here with us again. Hello to all of you at the 15th Film Spring Open Workshop. I am so honored to get to talk to you. Slavomir Idziak, who is my dear friend and who I was lucky enough to get to work with on A Tale of Love and Darkness uh, when I directed my first film. He is just the, the greatest, um, greatest cinematographer and an incredible human being. And I feel so lucky for you that you get to have him as your mentor. Um, I hope that you are inspired by these tumultuous times to make art that will move people, that will give people greater empathy for the, one another, and that will create <clears throat> images and moments and emotion that have not been explored thus far. You each have so much inside of you that only your individual experience can um, express on the screen. And I look forward to seeing all that you make. So enjoy your film workshop. Feel very lucky to have such a great artist um, leading you and um, look forward to working with you all one day as um, successful directors, cinematographers, and the other avenues you pursue. We do it for the 15th time already, not because uh, it's a commercial enterprise, it's a commercial undertaking, quite the opposite. We're devoting all our energy because your energy mobilizes us to do it. That you coming to see us every year, that every year we could see you. And uh, I wanted to show you uh, a certain picture. This is not because to I didn't want to present myself because the the camera that's next to me is more important and it's not a prop it's a camera that that um, accompanied my family because I'm from a, I hail from a, a photographer's family uh, in in the year 2000 it was still working it was still taking pictures I know for, for some of you 20 years is your whole life but remember that in technology it's not that much even though it's developing rapidly like an avalanche. And coming to us and visiting us, remember that those workshops, those meetings, the, uh, the, the, the are uh, directed towards the future. Don't think about what's around you now. Think about what's happening, what will happen soon, and the dramatic things are taking pla place. If if the earth started to to be to be <clears throat> have a conscience and start to think she would get rid of us if we don't start to react everything around us us including will come to a really bitter end but for the audiovisual world there's a slightly different message i'm coming back to this picture that i showed you last year because th that picture is sort of following me, it's haunting me, because it's, a, it's like a symbol of our modern time. Maybe the, the, the time's gone by already, but it's worth to remember that, because, because it's a picture 
showing that we're copying. As a civilization, we are in a certain flock mentality. We're following uh, one another. The pandemics, which is a horrid thing for the horrid state for the whole of the world, and it's threatening the lives of all of us, may be an opportunity too. Looking in, into the past, maybe we should also remember about a different line, not li people lining up to Mount Everest where p rich people are standing there and some of them dying. They they pay to to find the, to to put their foot on the t top of the world, but but ninety years years ago in the United States, people were lining for free soup for free meal uh, during the great great crisis. Uh, all the industry was shut down. A huge crisis. It's good to note that in during the times of the great crisis, Hollywood was had its golden age people uh, devoid of any sort of illusions devoid of normal life needed dreams not having money they they always sort of put this dollar on the counter to go to the cinema and to live through a different story to uh, to um, distance themselves from their everyday gray lives the same has a chance to take place today, and it's already happening. But you have to think that it's not about feature film or cinemas, because this will be the world which will which is shrinking. Because our viewers start to have different habits. In 2020, well, the year 2020 tells us that we're sitting more and more confined at home. The situation when I'm talking to you and I don't see you becomes more and more normal. Soon we'll be um, um, giving, uh, we'll be sort of incepting our children, children through YouTube. That, that might be a stupid um, joke, but you you should realize that we're in a very strange era. We as artists, as technicians, and we have to draw conclusions from that. We should attempt to think about the future, uh, what what waits for us behind the corner. The Film Spring Open is a workshop where. Uh, contemporary time is not really of interest to us, but especially this year, uh, uh, we have to remember that we have to be safe. That's why this year we've organized uh, the workshop online. Until now we had a, a motto which was following us, and I hope it will be following us today too, that Film Spring Open is a festival not for film watchers, it's for filmmakers. Come to you're coming to Krakow every year, and you were making films, uh, which sort of then we had like four hour projection of the films. We had tens and dozens of films of all sorts of genres and different formats. Let's try to do the same thing once again, but uh, with a twist, safely. I show you one example during my presentation because I want to um, uh, to urge you to to work remotely, to make films at home, but films which will which, for example, have a joint scenography. If if you can see he, here behind me, you can see a, a decoration of a hospital, a virtual decoration you can you can walk around it in, on our website and at home uh, by yourself you can do films about that by w using this scenography uh, of different rooms that are there that, and that will be shown here this is uh, like a board which shows the, the the whole of the scenography, but you can add and add new rooms uh, infinitely. Every room ha ca can be an opportunity for you to make a different film. You can make a different film in a, in in every room, and the uh, decoration will always be the same. It's enough to have a um, a piece of green cloth uh, to redraw to to um, um, present the dimensions of the room and. We can make several screens that I wanted to show you. They were prepared by Daniel Zduńczyk. If you're interested in, in the virtual film studio, I urge you, I invite you and encourage you to take part in his uh, group. And this very metaphoric uh, um, scenography, which is a, a communist era hospital, 
you can do anything you can make like a, a joke a very, from a joking uh, films up to very serious ones you don't need to go anywhere you do not need to gather you can make a joint film uh, being in dif different corners of the world and you're heartily invited to that um, an example how that works is a short film uh, to which I would like to invite you you saw a moment ago are of course um, quite a costly solution where the um, where the background you saw the background on the lead um, on the lead screens but we in film spring open we we came up with a much cheaper solution where the same back projection maybe not in such a big dimension not such big dimensions but 4x4 four four, is realized as a back projection in in very in, in some very simple um, cases, uh, that's absolutely enough. It's not, of course, there's no. Um, it's nothing special when you when you have a million dollars to spend, but uh, you have to look for budget uh, um, solutions, and you can also cooperate with us. We invite you heartily to do that, and this is an example of how you can do it: that you can remotely make films which take place in a different part of the world. Uh, or, for example, you can make films of where the car are going uh, across the northern, uh, the, the the South California, and the people are dying around, and you are safe, and you are at your home. Uh, what is a very important element, and we'll be talking about this during our workshop, is the topic that I, I always tackle has become very, very current. Uh, there was no revolution, of course. We st we stopped uh, the. Um, when we stopped doing analog uh, filming, the digital films changed the technique, uh, the, changed the technology, because we accept the technologies very well as people, as, lo as humans, as long as our mentality and habits don't have to change. And, but, and the system stayed the same, and this, the system is, does not work, because we're still making films in, in the old ways. And this we'll be talking about a lot, but especially that uh, we want to talk about safety and greenness of production. The, the industry has three elements which are very uh, barely noticeable in the current uh, film production. is the risk control, uh, uh, lean production uh, and smart production, uh, and agile production, sorry. Um, I, I will talk at length about that, but if let's talk about this um, uh, this case of a. F I, sh I showed you the picture. Uh, the, 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 it is from a small small park, uh, small film in in the United States. A, a mon like a monstro a monstrous number of of trucks and people, and and this is what what it is, what it is about. Uh, we should make uh, team, uh, films in very small teams. Uh, there is a s certain paradigm in cinematography which is still current and, st and does not have any meaning anymore. Because if you have four musicians, they start to make music, music together. They have no problem with finding the leader. But if you have four filmmakers, they always start to struggle who is the leader, who's the director, who's, who's, who gives the orders. We have to change that because right now the new fo formats emerge where there are no directors. Oh, I mean, they are directors, but they are not the sole leaders. This is what happens in TV series, um, in uh, computer games. And working in a team, you will be stronger. Uh, here's a, a team which made a very interesting film during one of the initial film spring opens. Uh, that was the whole uh, team for the uh, for the feature film, 
uh, if you will be working uh, w w with uh, such uh, modern um, tools like Cinebus, which we also build within our Film Spring Albert Foundation, I'll not tackle that to uh, to greater length um, uh, now. I'll talk about it during my lecture on production. We are different. Uh, every workshop. Uh, tackles a different uh, area like editing like uh, mm, post production etc but when we go on the on the set we need to combine all this into one uh, remember that film is a group effort we have to find a common denominator uh, mm, between people we have to move forward good logistics good organization are very important we've uh, We've turned it around and we bid workshops uh, in dedicated groups because everybody has their interest and your path from the film school to the success which crown, which is crowned by uh, some uh, feature film usually is, is a thorny one. Uh, you s quite often have to do different things on the way like documentaries, uh, commercials, musical films. So every year... Uh, we and this year we've managed to do that too. We've created a lot of groups. We've got 19 dedicated groups to which you are harshly invited. In every group, you have a mentor who will be advising you and who will be helping you. And you will also be able later to consult uh, on their project. Also, those groups have a possibility to meet each other and create creative, uh, mixed creative groups, which can, uh, after the workshops, they can follow on in cooperation. Um, now, uh, as a short description, well, the a young, a very talented, um, um, ex um, experienced uh, um, director will be running this, this script group. Um, Kuba Berezovsky, who's a very young producer, and he made a film in pandem pandemics. So you will also have a possibility um, to listen to the old man and the young man who, in those in in those conditions, managed to make a film. Uh, Martin Zimbinski, who is a, a multi-talented, fan fabulous director, who's doing commercials, serious feature films. He's a very hard-working and dedicated man. And he's great. Animation group. Uh, uh, also led, but uh, we have here friends who are here with us uh, for for ages. Uh, the very good, for example, animation uh, painted animation group, Randall, who runs the YouTubers group. You have to think about it that a big part of our activity has to be has to move to the internet, and we'll talk about that. Last year, Ari sponsored the crime uh, group and they ask, we asked them to, to do it again uh, because it was great. Your Pavo does it fantastically. So it's a very interesting group and the young DOP who was very successful, uh, both a cinematographer but he, but he also worked in, in the deep depth of the forest, a, a great success by Netflix. In documentary group we have a, a huge number of people, 80 people in one group. We were forced to to divide them into two, Eliza Kubarska and Paweł Łoziński will be mm, managing these groups. Um, Zduńczyk also a virtual studio, which is very interesting. Also um, at one, Konrad Zjaja, who was a, a participant at one uh, once at our uh, workshops, right now is is he's a very successful one of the best. Uh, um, creator of a VR films and he will be with us Florian Florian Payares he's also a, like a senior among us because he, we met for the first time 14 times uh, years ago during our workshop and every year he makes a, a very interesting at, interactive dramaturgy uh, project um, this year it will be uh, an interactive project between Poland France and Mexico Krzysztof Kubik, a BAFTA award, he's a great specialist in his area, a very in interesting special, uh, very interesting workshop on cooperating on um, common films, and I'm very happy that he joined us. And Nesta, a person who realized thousands, I'm not exaggerating, thousands of commercials as uh, a CGI artist, and a lot of uh, feature films. Jacek Skrobisz, the author of um, and Konrad Kruczkowski, the author of blog Halo Ziemia, with us for for years too. 
Once again, we're we're uh, supported by PZ, PZU, and they were, they were very happy with the with the films that you made, and I thank you for that because they joined us and they helped us in, in this very difficult year. Thanks to your films, thanks to the films commercials that you did, many of you look at them with pride at the website of PZU, and these are really great movies. Uh, once again, <clears throat> I'm encouraging you all, not only the scriptwriters. I encourage you to make a film devoted to healthy life because this is the topic which is really mm, obligatory for all of us because you also have a chance to find a promoter in, in this way, somebody with whom you can tie your future. This is absolutely a very interesting uh, topic and a great sponsor. I would like to invite you to watch the the uh, the recording the, the the film because unfortunately the director couldn't uh, of Pizze, the director Matia could not be here with us. Blisko 10 milionów osób obejrzało trzy spoty przygotowane przez państwa w ramach film Spring Open Festival. To wspaniały wynik. Bardzo się z niego cieszymy, bo wydaje nam się, że udało nam się trafić do młodych ludzi z przekazem, że nie warto używać telefonu komórkowego w czasie jazdy. W tym roku mamy dla Państwa równie trudne zadanie. Chcemy dotrzeć do młodych ludzi, aby uwierzyli, że dzięki sobie mogą żyć długo w dobrej kondycji. Wybór należy do nich. Co trzeba zrobić? No, to proste. Wystarczy zdrowie się odżywiać, zrezygnować, a przynajmniej ograniczyć używki aktywnie spędzać czas wolny i regularnie się badać. Thank you. I have signals that I've been talking for uh, uh, for too long and uh, so very shortly we have a great lecturers, um, a fine selection of young directors, Eliza Kubarska, Łukasz Kośmicki, Piotr Domalewski, Paweł Łoziński, Maciej Zębiński, Magdusz von, Ho von Hor, Olga Krzyżykiewicz, uh, the Oscar winner Ewa Puszczyńska, Barazowski, I the young producer I was talking to you, and Mr. Pokromski, uh, DOPs, also Paweł Fries uh, from the depths of the, of the forest. Uh, we also invited the, the light masters. Uh, uh, Mateusz Kuśmiak um, with a with a question mark because he he's got a he's got a, a job. Uh, Oli Rankin to, again with us. Agata Nawrocka and Kuba Sobek, our multi-year lecturer. We we managed to invite Waldemar Pokromski who does uh, who does special effects and uh, the um, with uh, Spielberg and one of the he's one of the best uh, specialists in in uh, in CGI's and in CGI and he's here with us he they started from a garage company because so as you can see it's worth investing in interesting topics now they have a, a great a great workshop um Martin Kędzierzawski Miszka Jackowska will talk about music Grzech Piotrowski Michał Woźniak so as I've mentioned already, we have to talk a lot about green production and eco production. One feature, one feature film produces as much rubbish as 10 uh, single family houses during the year. It's, incre it's incredible, it's horrid, and we have to end with that. We should give a good example. We should not uh, destroy our environment. And we have plenty of open workshops. Uh, above all, these are these are the mentors of groups which will be showing the elements that are interesting for everybody. So I would like to underline here the the um, filmmakers who does who do stock uh, films um, will be talking about the um, about their trade color correction and also what is very a uh, very interesting topic. Uh, Stasek, show us the, the general view. Yes, we'll be talking about the streaming, which we're which realizing right now, and and Stanislav Patek will be talking about that. The whole upside of our workshop was the meeting of of all of us that we were sitting at the cafe talking. This year it's impossible, but on our website we've prepared a internet cafe which is open to all of you. Uh, some of the uh, tables which have their hosts, but 
each one of you can invite other people to join them. It's enough to to knock on the table to choose to choose the the hour, maybe the the, the name or the, the nick, and invite your friends to talk in the in the evening in the afternoon. Uh, these are open to everybody, and every topic is allowed. Of uh, of course. Uh, in, in, uh, our, except for the rude ones, of course, because we quite often work with kids uh, at home. The revolution this year is that we cannot do what was the, our greatest virtue. We were getting a 12 million of worth of equipment to, for you to work that you got from from the um, uh, warehouse room. And this year, this is impossible because we are dispersed. But by some miracle and I really, I'm really thankful that for that, we've managed to invite the renting houses. And the renting houses are ready to, uh, to, to allow to take the equipment for free for those, for those, uh, for those uh, days of, of the workshop, as long as you get the signature of your, uh, of your mentor. It is slightly complicated, but in different cities you can uh, you can rent the equipment for free. You can see that on our website. Uh, the biggest revolution is our new website, and I want to tell tell you very shortly about this website because this is something extremely new. This is what it looks like. This is the main page. Here you will be able to see the lectures. On the right hand side, as I've mentioned, the, the virtual. Uh, virtual scenography, you can walk around it and see where you are. And what is also very interesting, the Krakow locations. Krakow is really un an underdog uh, among filmmakers. In this region, we have like incredible locations uh, from Tatry Mountains, which look like Alps, through, uh, through lakes and forests, through medieval town that you're uh, looking at right now. This, this VR um, uh, excursion, this VR trip around those locations, you can be found here. And what I was talking about a moment ago, the groups to which you can subscribe, the groups are devoted to those of you who are registering. These are not, they are not available to everybody. You have to register. In some groups, the, the, in some groups there will be limits. There was a competition about that too. A very, the navigation is really simple. So when you have your time and you will get you get the Google calendars, uh, you can you can get it here, and here you've got a button Sony workshops groups. You just like in Google Classroom, you've got the materials here, the films to see. In my case, these are essays, but also so some short film, but also um, uh, scripts to read. And what is also very important, and we want to uh, uh, work on that, the possibility of consulting other lecturers, so that this interdisciplinarity, which was always present in Krakow, that being a script writer, you could talk to a specialist in production, or being a DOP, uh, you could talk about some sort of secrets of uh, of CGI. And you, this you can you can you can do now through consultation, and the list of, consul of consultants is here in the next tab. We want to open it for throughout the year, because we believe that there this is something that is really lacking: the consultation about individual specialized uh, niches and problems uh, in those niches. We want to prolong that as a service functioning throughout the year and I would like to invite you to, to, to take um, advantage of that and it, I also wanted to consult with you the what it looks like I have a certain pr proposal I have a certain offer um, an idea about for that but we can always uh, follow your suggestions um, as always my um, inauguration address is slightly too long and I think it's time to get down to work and get our hands dirty and I, I need to really thank the lady who you, whom you can see on the screen, uh, Marta Dalecka, who's working really uh, hard throughout the year to make sure that the that the film spring open takes workshops takes place. She works weekends. Um, it's a really hard job. It's not easy to collect all the to get together all those people, equipment and money to uh, to realize this to, to make uh, this all happen. 
And of course, our team. I would like to thank the whole team, which is we we know each other very well. We treat each other as a family, and I would like to thank them. But at the end, because right now uh, we're running out of time. But I'm really grateful to them, and what I'm also obliged to, uh, I, I would like to really uh, the, express my gratitude to sponsors who are. Uh, financing us and supporting us in many ways. I'm really grateful for your uh, for all you do. Uh, technological partners, the renting rooms which allow us to to rent the the equipment for free for our participants. And the organizers uh, the the security company and the the insurance company and and media partners at the end. I've been talking for quite a long while and I'm starting to babble, so I think it's time to say goodbye to you. But I would like to invite you to something which is which I find very interesting. Last year we've organized a, a flash mob day, which we would like to uh, repeat this year, but as a remote flash mob. I would like you to see this because in this flash mob you can see how. Um, how sensitive you are to reality because you for you foresaw what will happen. This flash mob reminds me the last dance in on Titanic. Look at this and relive our experiences from last, last year. And I thank you for being with us. You're invited to Film Spring Open 2020 online. Kierowca, który prowadzi i używa telefonu komórkowego jest tak samo niebezpieczny na drodze jak ten po alkoholu czy po narkotykach. is the perfect name for this event. It's like a spring from which new films are literally sprouting out of the ground. Uh, I've really enjoyed spending a week around these creative people working on amazing new ideas. Jest fajna i bardzo, bardzo tak jest życzliwie i bardzo sympatycznie. To widać po tych uśmiechach, więc chyba jest dużo satysfakcji. Nie wiem, jestem tu od paru godzin, ale to się czuje, po prostu unosi się w powietrzu. Laksa prowadzę grupę teledyskową na film Spring Open. W tej grupie można pozwolić sobie na dowolny, najbardziej pojechany pomysł.
Przyjechałem tutaj poprowadzić warsztaty kamery Sony Venice. Jeśli mam być szczery, to ta inicjatywa jest genialna, że mamy tutaj jakby kamery tego Cinebusa, postprodukcję, że w tak krótkim czasie możemy praktycznie pokazać, na czym polega ta praca w moim przypadku operatora filmowego. Czy jest sens pożyczania sprzętu na takie wysztaty? Zdecydowanie tak, ponieważ samo oglądanie gdzieś w internecie, czytanie to nie jest to, co doświadczenie takie dotykowe. Kiedy dotkniemy, zobaczymy, poczujemy sprzęt, wtedy jest nam łatwiej podjąć decyzję, czy to jest dobre rozwiązanie, czy nam odpowiada do naszej pracy. A na przykład w ogóle nie mam tacy. To jest technicznie niemożliwe. My advice is to follow your dream. While you're training, use those years because they will be your best years ever. Make sure you kind of take advantage from helping and learning from your peers as well. Inspire each other. Hi, my name's Neil Corbold. Uh, you're just about to see a film called Sid, which is a, a movie that I shot at Film Spring last year. Uh, with the help of everybody there and I really hope you enjoy it and I'd like to thank everybody at Film Spring for making this possible. Nazywam się Kamil Polak, zajmujemy się głównie animacją komputerową. Pracujemy w programach Adobe Photoshop, Premiere i After Effects. Jestem Kuba Sobek, prowadzę grupę animacji, CGI, efektów wizualnych. Na Film Spring Open przyjechałam pierwszy raz 7 lat temu jako uczestnik, a dzisiaj jestem prowadzącą warsztaty New The Art of Visual Effects. Bo kiedyś maluteńkie warsztaty, które samoistnie urosły. To jest już dojrzałe dziecko, bardzo świadome i rozwija się dalej. Ja po prostu kocham film Swing Open. No powiedz jak jest, jak, jak ty to czujesz? No nie zdążyłam dzisiaj wysuszyć głowy. O. A ja na przykład od 5 rano się maluję, żeby tak wyglądać codziennie. 